Danielle, thank you. We want to switch gears now and head back out live to Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. Michael Wooten joins me once again. He's helping to kick off the holiday season and we are counting down the minutes until that tree of hope lighting. Hey there, Michael. Yeah, I tell you what, Heather, everyone watching at some point over the coming days and weeks, you're going to want to drive along Carlton Street right here on the medical campus and look over here at Roswell Park and see this beautiful tree behind me once it's lit. The tree is really breathtaking and it has quite the story. It's 28 years old and it's been growing all that time in the front yard of the Worthington family uh, in North Tonawanda and they so graciously donated it. So it was a gift to them in 1992 and it's been growing right there on their front lawn ever since since getting nearly 35 feet tall. The Worthingtons thought that it was maybe getting a little bit too big for the front yard. They didn't just want to cut it down though because it's so special. So their daughter came up with the idea to donate it to Roswell for tonight's celebration. By us giving this tree to them, it's kind of like our way of saying thank you. Um, letting people out there know that there's hope, you know, don't give up. Christina's five-year-old son Waylon is in treatment for leukemia here at Roswell, and her father was previously a patient here getting treated for lymphoma, so their family certainly knows a thing or two about cancer, and so nice of them to do this. We'll hear more from Waylon and his sister coming up in just a little bit, but we want to show this video to you as well. So you're looking at drone footage here. This was captured the tree's journey all the way from North Tonawanda here to the medical campus. You can see it is a huge job, so thank you to all the people uh, who work to make that happen to get that that tree from there to here. And again, Heather, we're going to hear a bit more from Waylon. He's one of the special kids, he and his sister, who got to do that Zoom call with Santa. And then, of course, our tree lighter Silas will be lighting this up. Still ahead.